Hello, and welcome to another episode of Todd Talks, and Todd Talks people listen, because this is the most fun I've had in a while, hopefully. And yes, we are here today to talk about the death battle that just happened between Dio Brando and Alucard, and at this point, I don't know why I bother. <laughs> I lost... Yes, rub it in, all you Dio fans who mocked me for picking Alucard. You were right. Dio won and Dio won handily. I guess I, o I overestimated Alucard and I underestimated a lot of what Dio did. And now I am 6-6 six and six because, if you recall, I totally cheated and uh, <laughs> decided to count the Macho Man, uh, Kool-Aid Man, as a victory, even though it definitely wasn't. But I, it, it counts, so I am now 6-6 six and six with four battles left. So I'm a little bit behind the 8-ball here, because I do not want to end this 50-50 like I did, a, uh, I think, three seasons back. So, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not the happiest of campers right now. Uh, I will say that this episode was incredibly fun, and much like I predicted, uh, they were going to spend a lot of time breaking down why one of the characters won over the other, given all the insanity that was to be had. Uh, I really want to talk about the fight, though, because the fight, though, was really fun. Uh, they went full tilt with Dio's abilities and uh, Alucard's abilities. They had him say both of their best catchphrases with, you know, it's me, Dio, and then if I'm a dog, then you're dog food. You know, that was really cool. Uh, yeah, they used the road roller. They used muda, 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 muda. They used the time stop multiple times. They used level zero. Uh, they used the army of blood and zombies, which was really cool. That was actually, for me, the best visual was when you actually see the like the river of blood moving through the city. Because um, it, like, it was a 3D shot. You could see it like weaving. and It was really, really cool. So that was... the But the best line... The best line was by Alucard. So if Alucard won nothing else today, he won the line battle because uh, Dio asks him, what, what are you? And he goes, I'm a real vampire. And I'm just like, yes. Uh, that, that line honestly gave me that, that spark of hope that he might be able to pull it off. He didn't. But I can, I can always have that line in that shot where he's like, I'm a real effing vampire. Uh, I don't, I don't swear, so sorry, but, uh, yeah, but, uh, the fight was honestly really fun, it was, inc it was incredibly satisfying up until the end, and I was, they made you want, made you think, because it usually what happens is, in certain fights, they have the whole, you know, one guy says the final, like, I'm gonna kill you now, and then the other guy that like, goes to that extra power level and then kills him, well, they did the fake out with Dio saying, come meet your new god, and Alucard transforms to level zero form, and it ends in his death. So, yeah. Now, I will say that they did do a good job, good enough job, of um, breaking down why Dio won, mainly because of the, the strength and speed feats and him being able to cut through the entire army. Uh, some of the things that I missed in my research, and I didn't, I, I, this would have absolutely affected my verdict, was that I didn't realize that stands could touch intangible objects. I, I didn't I didn't find that in my research. Um, I kept seeing people talk about the time stop growing over time. I never understood that, but whatever. Uh, it, it honestly was only one part of the, the final verdict, but um, the the splitting the sky and uh, being able to get, essentially take out the three million souls in one shot was was very impressive. Uh, the how they handled Schrodinger was very interesting. Um, I know it's part of this is interpretation. I'm not sure I understand the interpretation, but then they counted it by saying, you know, the hypnosis and the Alucard has not been able to resist hypnosis. Um, my problems though, and I do have some problems, is that they say certain things about Alucard in the breakdown that contradict what they showed in the in the rundown. Mainly, they said, "Oh well, Alucard does not know about you know Dio's um, resistance to sunlight, or his uh, his weakness to sunlight, and thus wouldn't know how to exploit that." And yet, they literally say he's a telepath, <laughs> so he can read. He could have read Dio's mind, and um, 
you know, went from there. Granted, it may not have affected the fight as a whole, but, um, you know, that would have helped. And then he could have hit, they, they said that, oh yeah, Dio could have hypnotized Alucard, but they also say that Alucard can hypnotize Dio, in, in, or that he, Alucard can hypnotize people, and yet they don't bring that up. Uh, I thought that was odd. Um, and even though they said using Schrodinger in its true form would be a stalemate, uh, there, there were other things. And then they, they said that, uh, and I think it was on one of the tabs, that um, yes, Alucard's uh, regeneration was better than Dio's and that his bullets could have uh, hurt the regeneration. It wouldn't have mattered. And I, I, I don't know, that just kind of rubbed me the wrong way and how, how they worded it. Maybe if I was to talk with you know them, one on one, I would be able to get like a slightly more deeper explanation to it. Um, but yeah, they 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 did it. They did as good a job as they probably could have uh, explaining it for all the Alucard hopefuls like myself and many of you. Many of you on my channel uh, picked Alucard. Only a few of you picked Dio. So yeah, uh, yeah, I lost, and now I'm back to even keel with four fights to go. So, alright. So, I, I will I will live on, like, Alucard. <laughs> so, uh, the next fight is uh, very interesting. It is the return of Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat. We have Akuma versus uh, Shao Kahn. Uh, both of whom were in Season 1 of Death Battle. Sh uh, Akuma fought Shang Tsung, and he won. And Shao Kahn faced M. Bison, and he won. So that's actually, like, the winners of those fights going up against each other. So this is going to be interesting. And I will not make a prediction. I will not say who I am leaning towards, although I will remind you of one thing. In the preview for Death Battle, uh, the back half, they showed Oni Akuma. Okay? So make sure to account for that. when, No matter who you decide, make sure to account for that. Okay? So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that will be the next fight, and I'm I'm certain this has to be the three fight, all right? Because we've got we've now had four fights: uh, Iron Man, Batman, uh, Goku Black versus Reverse Flash, Coolie Man, Macho Man, and now Alucard Dio. That's four fights in a row that weren't uh, there were two D. So now we have to have that three D fight, and I'm betting it's it's got to be this one because it makes sense giving some of the other uh, combatants we're going to have a little bit later on. So yeah, and with that, I am. Regretfully ending this sorrowful uh, <laughs> episode of Top Talk. Uh, let me know what you thought about the fight between Dio and Alucard. Are you happy with the result? Are you happy with how they explain the result? How? Um, uh, what did you think of the fight? What were your favorite moments in it? And what do you think is going to be... How, how big do you think they're going to go with Akuma versus uh, Shao Kahn? Let me know in the comments below. So, I thank you for watching. You've made it as far. I know you were listening. And I'll see you around.